Moving right along with our wonderful TriMet board meeting. Just got through that ridiculous general manager report. I don't know. They, they're trying to tell. I mean, that they can't give away their student bus passes. They have a whole bureaucracy for that. Why? Why? Something is wrong with that program. Okay. Something is wrong with those people. That they need a bureaucracy to give away free passes. It doesn't even make sense. And their whole forward together is a giant psyop. And everybody fell, fell for it. Okay, continuing along. Seeing none, um, we will okay. now move on to the consent Madam agenda. Madam Chair. Oh. I do have, a, I do have a, There is one? Yeah, I do have one. <laughs> no, no leave, no leave, no leave yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> have a seat. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, I do have a question. I, how many elevators do we have on the system? Oh. Boy, that's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head. Does phone a friend? 32. 32 okay. elevators. Yeah. And I know Hollywood is a big issue, and that's been probably the, the worst um, situation that we've had. Are the, do we have similar situations um, to that degree at the other locations as well? Yes, we do. And, and so I think you're kind of illustrating kind of the direction. And I, I think I talked about this last month, too. Yeah. This is a pilot for us to explore not only Hollywood, obviously, but all of the elevators and, and honestly, potentially other places. Um, think about things like park and rides and uh, garages that we might be able to explore the solution for, too. So we're really excited about learning more in this. We're really excited about learning more. People are so full of shit. Can you even believe how full of shit they are? They're so full of shit. This this whole meeting is such a joke. Space, and I think that's why our peers around the country are excited about learning. All more. our peers are excited about us. You full of shit, man. You think we're dumb? In the space too. So your your peers are excited. Are we? All your 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 parasites around the country. Coordinating that uh, those um. Efforts with um, Peabody as well? I think Peabody is aware of our efforts. Yeah, they're not going to be coordinative, but but we're, we're helping uh, the region understand what this can do. So, yeah, we've been okay, in touch. Good. Thank you. I'll jump in also. I've had conversations with uh, Commissioner Maps about the project and let him know if there's anything that he would like to join in with us to help in this process, that we would be very open to Peabody joining us. Yeah, yeah. I'll check again. Seeing no other questions, thank you, uh, General Manager DeSue. We're going to go to the consent agenda now, and that for people who are unfamiliar with our meetings, it's items on the consent agenda up here um, are, are considered routine and may be approved by the board in one blanket motion. One blank group. And yeah, this yeah. morning we have three items on the consent okay, agenda. First, group. the minutes for the April 26, 2023 board meeting, a resolution directing that all readings of ordinances be by title only, and then resolution 23-05-17, updating registered agent designation and address to one main place as TriMet moves its administrative offices there. Um, let me first ask, does any director wish to remove any of the items from the consent agenda? Seeing none, uh, I will entertain a motion for approval of the consent agenda. So moved. Thank you, Director Edwards. Seconded. Thank you, Director Gonzalez, for the second. Um, any comments before we vote? Seeing none, um, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Hearing no opposed, um, motion carries. Um, so now we go to our resolutions um, for today. The next resolution to come before the board this morning is resolution 23-05-19 authorizing a contract with Mercer Health and Benefit. Yeah, they're going to leave this their last, the real controversial one to the end. This is standard operating procedure by TriMet. Make sure they inconvenience, inconvenience people as much as possible before getting to the controversy. And they need a, they need to 
Listen to this crap on this Mercer contract. It's LLC for Benefits Consulting Service. Benefits Consulting? You have a whole goddamn HR benefits department. It's fucking, they just give out money to Mercer. You know Mercer, right? They're, that's a bad company. Mr. General Manager, your comments. Thanks, President Simmons. I just want to make sure. So it's resolution resolution 2305-18. Oh, I jumped ahead. Okay. Well, let me go back. <laughs> yeah. I really try not to be perfect. So the first resolution yeah, today fine. coming before the board this morning is 23-05-18, authorizing a contract with Co Cochrane Incorporated for ordinary on-call electrical infra thermal scanning and arc flash program services. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Maybe that's why I skipped it. Anyway, Mr. General Manager, your comments, please. Thanks, President Simmons. Members of the board, um, our facility management department uses an on-call contractor to perform electrical work that is beyond the experience licensing and certification of TriMet staff. In December 2020, the board approved a five-year contract with Cochrane to perform these on-call services. Since then, TriMet has adopted a program required by Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which helps identify electrical safety risks and ensure regulatory compliance. The program which helps detect what are known as arc flash hazards, a term used in the title of the resolution called for a complete inventory of the electrical components across TriMet's facility. The inventory conducted by the arc flash team revealed that many of the non-inventory electrical as assets across TriMet facilities required replacement. Those that are not replaced will be required additional monitoring and maintenance. All of this add up to a significant amount of electrical work that now must be addressed by an on-call contractor. With resources from Cochrane's 2020 contract. Yeah, you know, you, you really wonder about it. I mean, do you believe what he's saying? Is this, is this legitimate? There's no way to really know, is there? They make all the decisions. They have all the money. They hand out the money. This $12 million, $12 million, a fiscal cliff, $12 million for on-call electrical. It's like, yeah, okay, fiscal cliff, $12 million doesn't quite add up. Exhausted, we come before the board to authorize a new contract. It is resulting from a new procurement to which Cochrane was the only firm to respond. However, the firm is experienced, reputable, and knows TriMet electrical system better than any other contract in the area. Their best and final offer was $9.3 million, and it came well below TriMet's independent okay, cost estimate years. for a five-year term. With change orders included, the contract oh, will total $10.7 million. Yeah, Cochran okay. is a certified... $10.7 million, you take it away. Woman's Business Enterprise. The firm has 740 employees and about 17% are minorities and more than 12% are female. And TriMet will work with them to maximize the use of DBE subs in any subcontracting that is performed. I recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? So move. Thank you, Director Edwards. Is there a second? Second, Kim. Thank you, Director Kim. It's been seconded. Moved and seconded. Um, does anyone wish to make any comments before we vote? Seeing none, no all in favor, please Here's say aye. Here's your 10 million. Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. Ten. There you go. 10.7 we'll million. Go to resolution 20. The fiscal cliff. 10.7 million. 3-05-19, authorizing a contract with Mercer Health and Benefits LLC for Benefits Consulting. Um, Mr. Yeah, this one I don't understand since they have their own they have their own benefits department. So it's bullshit. I mean, they're they're a crime syndicate. You understand? Their whole their whole thing is to uh, 
take that money and 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 hand it out towards the private sector. Let's see where okay, here's this one. General Manager, your comments. President Simmons, members of the board, state and federal requirements associated with TriMet benefit plans have become increasingly complex as they have with many other businesses. While TriMet staff oversees the design and administration of TriMet plans, they are supported and assisted by external consultants with specialized benefits expertise. TriMet's current contract with Mercer expires at the end of the month, and the firm once again emerged as a... I don't understand. What's the point of this? I don't understand. What do they actually do? Let me read this here. TriMet offers comprehensive health benefits for all employees, eligible dependents, and eligible rights. Now, they threw us on uh, United Healthcare, by the way. As with most businesses today, state and federal regulatory requirements associated with, associated with TriMet's benefit plans have become increasingly complex. They're so complex that it's over our heads. All of us well-paid executives, we can't figure this out. We need to hire these people. Yeah, right. The highest scoring proposal uh, to the RFP that was issued earlier this year. The I mean, what do they do? They just, the money's invested in the stock market, right? What is there to consult? Proposed contract of $1.4 million reflects Mercer's best and final offer for a five-year term. The contract amount is included in the Labor Relations and Human Resources budget for FY24. Mercer has nearly 6,200 employees. About 21% identify as minorities and 60% as female. Your approval of the resolution is recommended. Thank you, Mr. General Manager. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. Thank you, Director Kim. Is there a second? Second. 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 All these people are patient. All these people are patiently waiting for the the for the reason they came here, and they they put it right at the end, as they do all the time. Was it? Kim, Director Mo Kim's over there. Motion. Se no, I'm trying to figure out who seconded it. I did. Dr. Oh, Lewis. thank you. I, who cares? <laughs> you who cares? For the second, I heard two voices, and I couldn't figure out who it was. Okay. It's been Um, opposed? Oh, Motion carries. Um, the board will consider our final resolution, Where resolution 23-05-21, adopting the fiscal year 2024 budget and appropriating funds following the ordinance section of today's meeting. So now we're going to turn. Did I skip another one? Yes, you did. Ah, my goodness sakes. You can tell this is my, my one of my last meetings. I'm not tracking really well. So we're now going to go on. I need, I need a, okay. an assistant, so okay. keep me on track here. <laughs> um, so the next resolution, 23-05-20, authorizing an IGA with CTRAN for HOP Fast Pass services. Mr. General Manager, your comments. Thanks, President Simmons. I would have helped you in that situation there. Members of the board, our HOP Fast Pass uh, contactless payment system this doesn't actually, wait a minute, this does cost something. I'm, wait a minute, what the hell? I don't get it. Wait, wait a minute, it says here, lots into blah, blah. Primat and CTRAN entered into an IGA intergovernmental agreement related to the unnamed regional electronic fit. Oh, that's your CTRAN. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't get it. It's going to cost money, but it doesn't tell me how much the money is here. It just says one million. I don't see an actual figure. I'm looking at the resolution. System has raised the bar for transit fare payment since its launch in July of 2017. Not only does the system work for you, ensuring that you never pay more than you should to ride transit. It also makes riding easier and more convenient, providing seamless transfers between TriMet, the Portland Streetcar, and our neighbors to the north, C-Tran. 
the initial IGA between TriMet and CTRAN began in 2014 has expired. CTRAN's board has approved a new IGA authorizing the next five-year term plus a five-year extension. The core terms have remained the same with adjustments to reflect the more matured hop system that exists today. This resolution is revenue neutral as revenue sharing within the agreement accounts for the cost of each agency's service and proportional use. Your approval of the resolution is recommended. Thank you, General Manager Dessou. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? I don't, it says. So moved. Thank you, Director Bauman. You. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Director Edwards. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any comments before we vote? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any opposed? Um, motion carries. I don't understand. I don't know what this means. It says one million. Okay, we're going to take a 10 minute break. Okay, see, now they're going to drag it out even longer. You see how they do you? So we will be back at 11:45. Uh, they drag it out even longer. They just make everybody. They're hoping everybody will just get frustrated and leave. But we know what happened already, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, anyway, that's enough for this episode. The next episode will be the one I want.